and that we thought that humans and unseen beings would never say a lie about Allah, and that certain men among humans used to seek refuge in certain men among unseen beings. Now, my first question is, who are the unseen beings being spoken of here? Well, what's the, what's the, um... the jinns. What's the, what's the chapter? Uh, the chapter is the jinn, and we've read from verse 1. The jinn. So when the Quran quotes these jinn, are these jinn, are, are these quotes accurate? How, how do we know that Allah has, so how do we know that asking, the jinn have said these things? So basically you're asking me to prove how we can test the unseen. No, I'm asking you to tell me what confidence you have that these quotes are accurate and why. Because we have our reasons Which are? for the Qur'an being the word of Allah. Right. right? Okay. So the, ultimately, the reason we believe anything in the Qur'an is not because of uh, necessarily beginning with um, you know, historical verification or anything like that. It's because we ask the fundamental questions. Who is the author? We, the claim is it's Allah. Yep. How do we test that? Allah yep. provides the falsification test. It provides certain claims, certain promises. Who's the one that brought it to us? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What did he claim? He claimed prophethood. So yep. what are the evidences for his prophethood and so on and so forth. So when we go through these investigations, when we come to realize that the claims are true, that the, Quran is, just Allah, here. That the Quran is from Allah, and the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is uh, the messenger of Allah, that's how we determine that the news of the unseen is in fact true. Okay, so let me, I, I want to make sure that I don't straw man your argument sure. and that I understand what you've said correctly. Sure. So you have said that because you believe that the Quran is from Allah, yeah. therefore you believe that these quotations are true yes. and that the jinn have really said these things. Yes. Right. So we, we agree that it's the jinn speaking. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Can we pull up the next verse? Right. The Quran also says, <laughs> you, you stood here. So it says, say most surely, if all humans and unseen beings, who are the unseen beings again? Jinn. Were to come together to bring forth the like of this Quran, they could never bring forth the like of it, even if they backed up one another. Yeah. Right. So, let me ask you this question. If the jinn have spoken in, in the passage of the jinn, Allah has testified that the words of the jinn are equal to his words because we find them in the Quran. Allah is just simply quoting them. Is, the, the, is that quote an incomparable Quran? Well, uh, I don't understand the point. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that what the, the jinn are saying is what Allah is saying? What I'm trying to say is that there's a contradiction in the Quran. Do you agree with me that the Quran states that if man and jinn work together, they could never produce a Quran? They could That's never correct. produce even a surah like unto the Quran. That's correct. So I'm not, I'm not straw manning Islam. No. No. I'm not being unfair to Islamic teaching. Sure this time, no. Right. But Allah testifies that the jinn, and then he quotes them in this long passage. Could we pull it back up? The, the jinn passage. Yeah, he quotes them. Lose it. Yep. Please, uh, verse, uh, hold, verse, let let me verse, hold the phone. Which verse in particular? So here we're going to start from verse 1. Okay. Right. What's the shortest surah in the Quran? Uh, the last one, right? No, it's not. I think it's the Kothar. I think the Kothar is uh, smaller than um, uh, Ahed. Uh, and how, 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 many, how many verses in it? Three. Three. So let's see if the jinn speak for more than three verses. Verse one. It was revealed to me that a band of unseen beings listened and listened in and said, when he says, call all here, Ilaya, yeah. Yeah, who's it, who's it, saying? it doesn't matter because it's the quote that I'm interested in. No, and said, listening. no, it's the quote no, no, that I'm interested in. And said, so now it's quoting the unseen beings. This no, is the no, bit no, that I'm interested no, no, no. in. Hold on. Well, hold you on, tell me, you tell me. Okay, let's do right. it, please. No, 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 hold on one second, because this is my point. You, you asked to see the passage again. Let me say what I've got to say. Now, for my argument to work, it's irrelevant who that first phrase is about, because what I'm interested in is the quote. And the quote reads as follows, and we're going to read the entire quote. Okay. And let's see if it's more than three verses, you said. Three. 
the shortest surah of the Quran. Okay, no, no, before you go to that, okay. what do you understand by what to call it? If mankind and jinnkind came together and backed up one another, they would not produce a surah like it. So, so what it means? What, does, what, what do you mean by verse? Do you know what the criteria is for producing so, a surah? So uh, I'm going to use what the Quran does, and uh, uh, a surah is is a, a passage of the Quran. It's a passage of the Quran. Allah doesn't give you the surahs. Let's not get bogged down in, no, 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 in silly no, technicalities. No, no, no. No, why, why, I deal with my point. I am dealing with your point, okay. but I'm taking it to its fundamentals because now you're saying that there are more than three verses or three verses that are the jinn speaking. Yeah. This is not them trying to produce the Quran. But they have. No, they haven't. No, they have. And shall I tell you why? No, no. So, so this is not the Quran. So this is not the Quran. Wait, sorry. Let me tell. tell you know, answer me this. Answer me this. Answer me this. Shall produce. we do this time? Shall we do this no, time? No, no. I'm just because you're, you're not letting me. Shall we do this you're time? You're not letting me actually. Uh, think it. Yeah. When you're saying that simply because Allah is quoting the Quran, uh, like quoting quoting what they're saying, and it appears in the Quran, when when Allah says that they wouldn't be able to produce something like it, it's something original. Right? Not a quotation. So for example, if you today quoted the Quran five verses, if you quoted five verses of the Quran today, you can't say that I have created something like it. That's not the criteria for creating something like it. So pro producing any quote, because you have quotes from Ibrahim Can alayhi salam. You, yeah. you, have, you have quotes from Ibrahim alayhi salam. You have quotes from Musa alayhi salam. Yeah, this you is all the same problem. Have, no, it's not a problem. It's all the same problem. According Can I explain to, why it's a problem? According to what, scholar? Can I explain why it's a problem? Because the reason why it's a problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that Allah is testifying. This is the witness of Allah, that the words of the jinn are equal to his own. Now let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Calm down, calm down, calm down. So let me finish. Allah is testifying that the words of the jinn are equal to his own. Why? Tell me, am I now reciting the Quran? Indeed, we have heard a wondrous recital that guides to prudence, so we have come to believe in it, and we will never associate anyone with our Lord. Is that from the Quran? I know it's in English, but is that from the Quran? We can do it in Arabic, no, no, but it's is, the same thing. No, this is, the, is it the Quran? What are you talking about? Is it the Quran? Yes, yes this is the Quran. Is it the speech of Allah? Yes. So, uh, but is Allah quoting the jinn? Yes. So Allah is saying that the jinn the jinn have spoken incomparable words because I can't produce words like the jinn. Can I produce words like this Quran? Oh my. Can I produce words like this Quran? Can I produce words like this Quran? First of all, can I hold on, hold on. Can I produce words like this Quran? Ask the question a thousand okay. times if you like. What do you call it? When Allah is quoting them, right? Yep. He's first of all, is he quoting them verbatim? Well, yes. Uh, where does it say it's quoting them? Are you saying that Allah is misquoting them? No. So you can quote someone. You can quote someone, but you don't have to quote them verbatim. No, a quote is he said X Y Z. A paraphrase is this is the meaning of what he said. Allah is quoting the jinn. Now let me ask you: Can I produce? A surah equivalent to the words of the jinn, yes or no? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no it cannot. No, no, I cannot. No, no, I cannot. He no, no, just said it. No, I cannot. Here, mate. Not there. Well, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Listen. First of all, when Allah says about the book, I'm talking to him. So you want to talk to someone? Else are, are you Are you happy to let him speak for you? Not at the moment. Yeah, okay. No. There you go. All right, right, right. Oh, right. Now, please notice that he was willing not to interrupt him. Let's see if he shows me the same courtesy. Go on. Clown. You're a lying clown. And that means you. There you go. With regards. Your prophet, your prophet has led you in a bad way, bro. With regards to Allah quoting these people, right? For example, we have the uh, statement of Fir'aun in Surah Taha. Yep. Okay. Where he quotes him. Closing. Where he quotes him saying. Oh, got it. Uh, saying two different things, and this is one of the many um, arguments that people try to bring with regards to the Qur'an and the variants and stuff. But we, it is well established in Islam that when Allah is. Uh, quoting what someone is saying, it is not necessarily word for word. Okay, this is nothing. So if you're going to judge the Quran, judge it by its own merit. Okay, do not in to impose your understanding of whatever it is onto yep. the Quran. Yep. If you want to falsify Islam, show us that the scholars of Islam have said so okay. and so about the thing. Hold on. Yeah. With regards to Allah saying about the jinn, what did the jinn actually say? The jinn actually state that the Quran was a miraculous thing. Right? Yes, says that it they there. Never, that they have never heard before. Yep. And they also testify that if um, 
um, all of mankind and jinn came together. So the jinn themselves in this uh, in this chapter are testifying. Okay, so let me. You cannot. Okay. So for you to come now. So, and so say no, that allow, allow, done it, allow me to reply. Allow me to reply. So the brother is right to point out the contradiction. What? Because that's what we've got here. The Quran it's claims. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You wanted me to listen to you. Yes, I did. Now the 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 fact of the matter is that the Quran claims to be incomparable, that no one can speak words like Allah. But then in that very Quran, what we read, sorry, what we read are direct quotes from Allah quoting the jinn. So my, so, so, so the point is this, the point is this, remember at the beginning of the conversation, honest Muslim, what did he say when I said, how do we know? that the jinn really said this. And he said, we know it because this is the word of Allah. So you have said that because you believe that the Quran is from Allah, yeah. therefore you believe that these quotations are true yes. and that the jinn have really said these things. Yes. Right, so we, we agree that it's the jinn speaking. Yeah. That means that we can trust that these are direct quotes from the jinn. And the words of the jinn are in the Quran. And the Quran is the word of Allah. So according to Allah, I and the whole of the jinn could not write words, could not write words equal to the quotation of the jinn. Which means the words of the jinn are incomparable. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah, you get it. Right, we'll deal with it. Oh no, I've already dealt with it. You just ignored everything I said. Go on. All right. So as I said to you, okay. Now the thing is, for you to prove this, you'd actually have to bring some scholarly interpretation of this of what you're saying as well. I would like to see you provide a scholarly quote, right? Paraphrased or not, where any other scholars of Islam have said that this is actually one of the criteria of reproducing the Quran. What is the criteria? Because you seem to know. Right. What is the criteria for producing a surah like it? Okay, are you According asking to, a question now? I'm asking you a question. According okay. to Islam, what is the criteria for producing a surah like it? So producing a surah like it means that in terms of its beauty, in terms of its eloquence, in terms of its elegance, in terms of its applicability, in terms of its majesty, in terms of its logical consistency, that no human beings could write something like the Quran. And just so you can see the verse, it says in the Quran, say most surely, if all humans and unseen beings, that's the jinn, were to come together to bring forth the like of the Quran, they could never bring forth the like of it, even if they backed one another up. Now, have I strawmaned Islam there? I'm asking you, where's the, where's the evidence for, for, for the... For well, the, tell me I'm the, wrong. For the criteria that you've given. Am I wrong? No, no, because you, like I said, you've come Are here. you telling me that I'm wrong? Hold on, let me speak. What happened to interruption? All right. Like I said, because you're showboating and everything, you've come to me with this, you know, confidence that you seem to know what you're on about. So I'm not going to neither confirm nor deny, but I'm asking Just you... Just pause one second. Could you find the verse that says, if this was from any other than Allah, there would never be a contradiction therein? Yeah, okay. So, um, as chapter 4, verse 82. If I'm not 482, there we go. Um, what do you call it? Where do you get this criteria from? So when you said eloquence, all of, the, all of these things that you've listed, where do you get it from? My conversations with Muslims. Uh, what, what happened to scholarly? What happened to the... Well, are they wrong? Tell the, tell, say to the camera no, 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 I'm asking you. that they are wrong to I'm, say so you, no, so that you, the Quran is incomparable so, on, in beauty and majesty. No, no, I'm talking about the criteria. Don't, don't Am I wrong? wrong? Don't throw me. Am I wrong? I'm asking you because I'm going down this evidentiary trail with you now. Right? Okay. So, you're telling me now that you're coming to me again shouting and you know do, do, doing this show yeah. based on what Muslims have told you so you haven't actually confirmed anything for some yourself. of those Muslims are scholars name one I don't remember the name no oh, okay well I can't take it for you know, can I oh, no of course not <laughs> but, so, but, but just okay. tell say to the camera I'm wrong say to the camera I'm wrong I'm not gonna say that because there you go yeah. did you see that he wouldn't say I was wrong yeah. I gave him the definition, the point, and when he had the opportunity to say that I was wrong, he wouldn't say I was wrong. The point here, the point here, is that you're Sorry. not. No, the point here, you're missing the point completely. The point here is that you're not coming from a place of knowledge, right? Tell me again. Let me ask you a more direct question. 
the quotation of the gym. So, no, so. Yeah, let you finish your point, then. So, nothing from what you have said is actually what you try to produce now. So, none of the criteria that you established, which is actually true, okay? There we go. I wasn't wrong. I was true. It was right. I was mentions. right. There yeah. we go. I was right. Yeah, but I've, I've just exposed that your ignorance of the actual criteria from evidence. You got. You just said I was true. That I was right, and that I, what everything I said was true. Okay. So I wasn't wrong. Well, Bob, uh, you just sank yourself, bro. No, I haven't. Because <laughs> what I've proven is that you are ignorant from a from a perspective of actually attaining knowledge. Getting, Great. Getting correct information from hearsay. But I was still right, that's though. That's lucky. That, that, that's you be getting lucky. There we go. I was lucky, yeah. but I was right. So, and that's the point. Well, it doesn't matter no, if I was lucky. Wrong. I was still right. But here's where you're wrong. Here's where you're wrong. That the quotations in the Quran is a criteria. For producing a Quran like it because you never mentioned that as part of the so, so let me ask you this you question from Muslim. let me ask you this no, no, question hold on. do you understand no no this? no okay. do you, do you understand I understood this? what you said so what? let me ask you a question so does your point let, 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 yes it does no, let it me and I'm going to show you why I'm going to show you why let me ask you this question go ahead those 15 verses of direct quotation of the jinn right are they incomparable or not when Allah quotes the jinn this is not his own speech you're not answering my question. Don't change my question. Answer the question I'm asking you. The question that I'm asking you, the 15 verses yes. that directly quote the jinn. So it's the jinn that are speaking. Are those verses incomparable or not? I already told you it's not verbatim. No, you didn't. That's not my question. I didn't ask if so they're verbatim. No, no. So, when you're so I'll ask you again. My question I'm is, a, a, the, 15 the 15 verses of the direct quotation of the jinn, are they incomparable or They're not? Incomparable. They're incomparable. Right. There you go. So, so that means the words of the jinn are incomparable. Right. Who else's words are incomparable? This is, this is, this is, Allah's words. 